word is true. Nobody got time for it right now, man. But God got your number, man. Everything in this, all our ways and attributes and things we do as a people is in this Bible. Whether good or bad. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Most High. Boy, boy, boy. Man, it's going to be a day. I'm telling you right now. It ain't even going to be no day. It's happening right now. We can look at all the catastrophes just with our people alone. We ain't talking about nobody else. Because when everybody else get judged, we celebrate. We celebrate. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. We celebrate when judgment come across, when judgment come on these other nations. God always keeps the playing field uh, equal. Even though more of us are getting killed, are getting killed, and we the ones that they're parading and making it look like animals when you watch the media and the news, God always equals the playing field. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. God said he gonna make fun of you. Since you wanna walk past brothers bringing his word out and you don't think it, you don't take it serious or some of you come out scoffing and call yourself making mockery of his word or making mockery of us, who God rolls up to come out, take, take time out of our little lives to come out and bring his word to you. He said he gonna mock when your fear come, man. That's gonna be a bad day. And see, we going through that now. You see all these shootings and stuff. All these shootings and then the brothers and sisters be on TV at night, they have these little visuals. And they be screaming and crying and stuff. They don't understand. And these dumb pastors, they come out to the visuals and can't even get you no answers. I ain't heard a pastor yet come on TV and say, you know why we going through this, folks? Because we're because cause we, cause we violating the laws of God. I ain't heard a pastor yet say that, man. Why they won't say that? Because they hypocrites, they dumb dogs, loving the slumber, as the scriptures tell you. Dumb dogs loving the slumber, man. Don't bark when destruction comes. Anytime you have a dog surround, anytime you got a dog in your backyard and on the sides of your house, that dog is there to warn you if somebody's trying to break in your house, man. It's supposed to protect you. It's supposed to bark. These disgusting pastors are not barking, man. This is Ezekiel chapter two, or chapter three, verse seven. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto you for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impotent and hard-hearted because I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Do you hear that? God said he made our heads hard as flintstone. And you know what? I'm going to tell you straight up. Me and these brothers up here and, and our brothers that come out and support us and that's down with us that's in that's on the other side of the camera. Our head is hard as flint. I, I'm going to tell you straight up. I know my head hard as flint. I, I, I go up at funerals at any given time, man, and speak this word in front of pastors, deacons, reverends, bishops, whoever, and don't give a damn. I say the words of God. I don't take with my own mind. I don't, I don't come with my own heart. I speak these words and don't give a damn, man. I don't care how your face look. Negroes make crazy faces. And you know the sad part about it? It's not even those of us that's at the funeral um, to show our respects. It be these damn pastors, man. Mm. I didn't have pastors try to run me off stage, try to tap on their wrists like the, time, like the time is up. And, and I'm sitting there coming out the book that they claim to believe in. Mm. It should never be time is up. But yet and still, Pookie will get up there and be talking about yada me and ye, and he get 20 minutes. I get up there, I bring out the words of God, they telling me, brother, brother, trying to rush me off the damn stage. Two minutes after I'm up there. These niggas are disgusted, man. These niggas are disgusted. And those of you that's following them, you become disgusted too. God said he gonna mock when your fear come, man. It's gonna be that day when danger come upon you, you gonna be on your knees praying and he ain't gonna even hear you. Just like he didn't hear them Negroes in South Carolina. Just like he didn't hear that brother in Greece over the weekend. Right. Brother over in Greece hanging out with Edomites. Right. 
He got beat to death. Right. What was the meter mice that came on after he died? Talking about he was so nice. His smile lights up the room. He dead now. You can't smile now. Scary ass white folks. You hang around white folks, folk. They ain't got your best interest at heart. Utilizing you for your talents and your, and your skills and your flavor. As soon as your flavor runs short, they ain't nowhere to be found. One, none of the white folks was right there when their brother got his butt beat with the brass knuckles. And I, and, I, and, and to make it so spiritual, you so-called Nichols don't understand there was just an earthquake in the same place where the brother got killed at, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And like the brother of Barzal was just bringing out. Uh, two days ago, a week exactly, a week exactly after that brother got beat to death with the brass knuckles over there in Europe, taking a selfie with a white woman, them, them old evil Czechoslovakian, basically Caucasians, they got mad at that. These, these white folks tired of seeing Negroes laughing and grinning, taking their women. They beat that brother to death, man. He taking a selfie at the bar with an old white girl. Guess what? Two days ago, there was a, a 6.7, it was 6.5 earthquake measured on a Richter scale in Greece. They, they say historic buildings toppled, a roof fell in on the club, which is what he was in when he had this confrontation. Been heavy. Not not that club he was in, but another club, the roof fell in. The heavenly father, I'm telling you something about the heavenly father. If you patient, the heavenly father always get these nations back, man. Just like when that little kid fell into the uh, gorilla exhibit is at the Cincinnati Zoo last year. White folks went crazy. They was threatening the parents and stuff. All because the little boy just got away. Kids do that sometimes. He fell in the gorilla exhibit. And they had to destroy the gorilla in order to remove the boy safely. White folks was threatening them people, calling them less of parents. So God said, okay, I'm going to make the plan feel even. One week later, damn, he loved one week. Seven days, perfect. He had that little white boy in Florida on that beach at the Disneyland Resort playing on the beach. An alligator slithered, slithered up into the uh, resort. What happened? Grabbed the little boy off the beach, a little Caucasian kid, and pulled him on the water. They couldn't find him for a whole day. That's how, that's how our God work. That's how it's spiritual. God had that alligator slither up into that resort. Man, you, and you know when Disneyland made that resort, they put up all kind of barriers? That, that, that alligator slithered right on up in there and grabbed that little white kid and pulled him underwater. That's what our God do, man. God gets revenge for us, man. That's right. And that's a small level. It's gonna come on a huge level. Yes, sir. Right to you. Sir, right, chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. The Heavenly Father creates spirits, man. He control all spirits. If Heavenly Father want to kill you and he want to lure your butt out into an opening to get shot, he'll put a lying spirit on you. As he tell you in the Bible, he'll put a lying spirit right in your ear and have you walk your simple self right out to a death zone. That's how God get down. The God in these churches is Satan. He tell you everything gonna be all right. Our God tell you, you don't obey him, you gonna have your number. Yo, your number is gonna be poor. This is Isaiah 29 verse six. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes, and great noise, and storm, and tempest, and flames of the violent fire. Hey, did y'all see that flash flood? It was a flash flood. What was that? Was it Arizona? Yeah, Arizona. Arizona had a flash flood. There wasn't no damn flash flood. It wasn't raining. Dry as Arizona ain't have no flash flood. That was the Heavenly Father. The, Bible, the brother just read that he's gonna visit you in tempest, with fire and storms. That's like God, anytime you see that wind spinning, those tornadoes on TV, ripping up Oklahoma, that's who you call Jesus Christ. That's the spirit of Yahweh shot. He said he's in them uh, tor tornadoes and whirlwinds. He's spinning and he grabbing stuff and relocating. The white folks be on TV the next day crying because he done took a whole neighborhood of homes and threw it to the other side of town. God getting revenge to this very day for what happened on uh, Black Wall Street. He ain't forgot what you did to his people in 1924. Go burn down a whole community of people just because they want to be separate and have some type of dignity and life for them for themselves. Yeah, 12 tribes of Israel. Tribe again, tribe Those are Negroes, man. Them weren't Africans. 
And you Africans already shut down. God got you on your own land. You guys scared to move a peak. You, you scared to say a word. White man running everything. God got this white man for a pit bull. He's sick of them on everybody. You don't want to obey me? Sick them on you. You, you, you Latino brothers and sisters, y'all don't want to keep these laws and commandments? God got the perfect man in office right now. Red with blonde hair. The epitome of Esau when we read the Bible. Let me get that out, Genesis 25. We're gonna show you what's in the Bible about Esau. The red man, the man with no melanin. The man that say everybody's created equal. Yeah, yeah, let me get that too. Uh, well, I, 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 I wanna, let me get whole um, Isaiah 2025, I mean, Genesis 25. Yeah, hey, let me get um, Isaiah 45-7. God got the perfect storm in office, man. You ain't voted Donald Trump in office. Well, even not, well, and you didn't even vote for Donald Trump. Hardly no blacks voted for him, but he, but he still got in office. Just like hardly no blacks voted for George Bush, but he still got in office. George, George, George Bush had, Al, um, Al Gore had George Bush beat it by a landslide. But they didn't want George, uh, Al Gore in office. They wanted George Bush in there so he could carry out what he had to carry out. Which is knock those Twin Towers down and then go over into uh, the, the Middle East, Iraq, Pakistan, and level it and take all their resources. This is Isaiah 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Most High with an everlasting salvation. Seven. I think you did see that. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I at the most high do all these things. Did you hear that? Hey, let me get um Deuteronomy 32 is a precept of that. Deuteronomy 32, I think like 32, 32, something like that. Did you hear that? The Heavenly Father said, I create light, I create darkness, I create peace. And evil, excuse me, thank you, Al. And evil. What are you Christians reading, man? Heavenly Father said he do all things, man. That's right. Heavenly Father not down in some basement in, in uh, England somewhere, bound up, while the devil do what he want to do? Anytime it's destruction, y'all want to say it was the devil. But then when it's peace and good, it's God. He, he said, say, he told you he do both. <laughs> he bring both. <laughs> You guys telling, don't understand the devil and God. All along, they think that the devil and God are fighting against each other. Man, they work hand in hand. hand He's just a weapon that the Heavenly Father used, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I woo and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The Heavenly Father say he kill and he make alive. Christians, he kill and make alive. He do all these things, man. He's a most high God. When you read the Old Testament, these heathen nations will refer to him as the uh, as, as a terrible God. They call him a terrible God. Anytime you flood a whole part of the world and kill everything in it, that's something terrible to me. That's something terrible. God ain't with this stuff we be involving ourselves in, man. He created man and woman to bring back life, man. This is Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 5. And said, I beseech you, O Lord, my power of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keep of covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let's get first Isaiah, what is it? First Isaiah chapter uh, two. Them that love me and cannot find the commandments. Show them the Lord love me. Yeah. The book of Nehemiah just described God as a terrible power. A terrible power, but he give grace and mercy to them that love him. So who oh, loved yes, the Heavenly sir. Father? We finna show you in a second what the word love okay. means according to the Bible. Yeah. It don't mean what you've been born taught. It don't mean Cupid gonna shoot you in the butt with a bow and arrow and you all of a sudden you get uh, uh, chivalry for, for the person that's right next to you. That's not love according to the Bible. That's right. God finna let you know what love is. Everything you ever been taught or think you know, God got answers right in the scriptures for you. Okay, Pastor. What you talking about, bro? This is Isaiah 56, verses 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. 
They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleepery, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They are all look to their own way, every one for his own gain from his quarter. These pastors are greedy as hell, man. You go to church, man, they got down their offers for every damn thing in the church. Sister, Sister Betty, building fund, hallway fund, sanctuary fund, his fund, the first lady fund. Damn. He got, he got Negro scared to go to church. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm glad y'all charging all this money to come to church. Because we meet a lot of people that have stopped going to church because they get broke every time they go. So that's a beautiful thing, man. So I get the most high praises and thanks. I'm glad you guys are being dumb dogs. Greedy dogs, never can have enough. We're happy for that because you running people away. That's right. All you're going to be left with is a bunch of single black women that hate men. And even then, they're going to leave because right. they're looking for men. Right. When they see them on win there, they're going to follow wherever the men are at. And we praying to whomever, to whomever the God of Israel choose to bring out here, whether it be with us or any other group that's pushing the truth, we pray that's where the men come. We ain't worried about the women so much because they're going to follow the men. We leaders by nature. That's right. Ain't no equality in that. The man is the head. The woman follow. You are a helper. You ain't no damn head. Yeah. Death and destruction to you. Crash your bike into the ocean. Dirty ass. <laughs> so that's why I don't give him no money, man. Do not give no homeless Caucasians money, uh, Israel. No money for them. Because when they don't get something from you, they, they call you names. Do not give them no money. They're not our people. I'm worried about the. I don't even give all my people money. Esau gets no money. I want to keep them right where they at. They're going down, man. You can't get a nickel from me. <laughs> sorry, what you got out? So what you got out? What you tell me to pick? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me see. Yeah. No, first John 5. Yeah. No, you no, no. no like I love. Um, first John 2 and 2 and 4. Did you want that? Yeah. Yes, yeah, right there. Yeah. give you love out the scriptures. We're going to see what God said about love. And by the way, I brought this out at a funeral recently. The pastor didn't have nothing to say about it. He just looked at me with a screw face after the damn service was over. I fronted his butt off. God is good. I didn't front him off. The Heavenly Father put the words in my mouth. I'm just a man out here, man. We, we bringing this truth, man. Here you go, bro. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. You hear that? The Heavenly Father said, Whosoever loveth the Most High, the, the, the Heavenly Father, whoever keeps his commandments, love the Heavenly Father. That's how you love God, doing what he say do. My kids, me and these brothers up here, kids cannot tell us that they love us, that they're disrespecting us and not following our house rules. Well, this is God's house, the whole earth. This is footstool. He got you, he tell you things to do and not to do. And the way you show him you love him and respect him is you do what he say do and 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 do what he and don't do what he say don't do. That's the love of God, brothers and sisters. This is uh 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever commit of sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. 47 and, um, 47 and 19 uh, songs. The Bible says, whosoever committed sin transgresses the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right. So let's see who the law was given to. You gotta break this down, man. This ain't Christian church up here. Up here. We don't generalize everything. Everything gotta be broken down, man. Right. In its proper order and context. The Bible said, whosoever committed sin. So let's see who those whosoever was. Because you got to break the law. In order to break God's law, you got to have been given the law. So we're going to find out who are the people today that descend from those that were given the law. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and for his judgments they have not known them. Praise the Most High. Heavenly Father said he only gave his laws to Israel. He didn't give his laws to everybody. Right. 
He didn't give his laws there. He only gave his laws to Israel. So you're the sinners, so-called blacks and Hispanics, Native Americans, so-called Native American Indians, Jamaicans, Haitians, Cubans, Guatemalans. You guys are the true sinners. Don't, and you became sinners because your forefathers was given the law. And we in violation today because we're not following the laws. We're not being taught to follow them. And, we're, and then when you hear them, you don't want to listen to them. Hey, what you got? This is Baruch 3, verses 4. O Lord Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children which have sinned before thee, and not hearken unto the voice of their power. For thou which caused these plagues cleave unto us. Our forefathers made a pact with the Heavenly Father. That pact, they broke it. Today, we are descendants of those that broke the laws of God. And wherever you have gone, and have destroyed all the enemies in your path, I will make you a great name among the great ones of the earth. I will assign a place for my people in Israel. There I will plant them, and they shall dwell in their own land. 